and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, Kevin from Beckley's Camping Center today to talk to you about Columbia Northwest Somerset. This is the E3, their Evolution brand. Now, for more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure that if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, the specifications for this unit as well as my contact information and pricing will be down below this video, but let's get on to this camper. Now, with the Somerset, with the E3, there's two different E3s that you can get. You can get an E3 with a deck, which that what this one is, or you can get an E3 box, meaning you have a storage box on the front. So now with the deck, this thing's gonna be 53 inches wide, meaning uh, from front to back, and then side to side, you're going to be 82 and three quarter inches um, from side to side. Now it does have the tie downs in there, and this, these rails here, these are your ramps for you to bring your four wheeler up on there, your golf cart, whatever's going to fit in in that particular area. Now you can see how heavy duty the stabilizers are that you're using on this. So you can have four of those. Now. I know some people might say, well, this is a pop-up. Boy, I, I can tow this with my, uh, my Dodge Caravan, my Toyota Sienna, my Honda, uh, my little Honda minivans. These things are going to need a little heavier duty vehicle because this tongue weight is going to be rather substantial. As I would mentioned, I'll have the specs down below this video for you. Now, from a camper standpoint, uh, you're not going to find any camper that has a more substantial uh, decking area for the bed. As you can see, you can see the, uh, the bracing for this. Much, much, uh, very, very substantial. And then these back saver poles, which are very, very nice. You know, if you, if you come out to take a look at one of these, have somebody show you how those poles work, because it's, it's very easy and it's quite impressive. Now up in the front here, this is where you're going to get two propane bottles as well as a battery. Uh, so, you know, most pop-ups are going to come with just one propane tank. This one will come with two. Now, as you can see, this one has two stairs to get inside, so it's up off the ground a little bit. And that's because this is the off-road package. So you can have the bigger tires on here, and look at that clearance that you have. You can see that clearance. Now, the construction of this is, is unlike most of the others. They're using automotive technology for this. Um, which is a little bit different. It's going to be a more substantial uh, build process. Of course, this one has the railing here that goes all the way from here to the door. So you can, you know, hang a, a shelf out here, you know, like a little, uh, little table. Uh, put your outside grill, although I don't recommend putting a grill on here. Uh, but because uh, it's just from ruining the camper part itself. Uh, but some people do it. You just got to be very careful. So you can have your LP uh, quick disconnect right there, your water heater on this particular one, outside stereo speakers. Notice how the outside light is yellow instead of being white, less chance of collecting those bugs. And then of course you do have your 110 outlet. Now one thing you're going to notice with Columbia Northwest when you're looking at them is notice how your lifter system is exposed to the elements. And the reason for that is you, the way this is built, you have four cable system, aircraft style, you know, grade type cables. So you have one for each lifter system. If one cable were to break, it would only drop the roof a few inches. So you're not going to be you're not going to be stranded. You'll still be able to use it for camping. You don't have to have the braces on it. Also, notice you're not covering it with you know they have those things that cover them with the other brands. The reason why you must cover them with the other brands is because if water gets into that area, it will go inside the camper. With this, water gets in this area here. It's going directly down, and it's going to go to the outside. It has already set up a channel in there to channel the water away from your camper. Now, when you're looking at the pricing on your Columbia Northwest pop-ups, you're going to notice that they're uh, substantially higher than other pop-ups. But there's a lot to go to it. I explained the lifter system. Also, this is a Sunbrella material. It's mold, mildew resistant. It's, it's breathable. It's fire retardant. It's not, you know, now they have the vinyl down here. And, of course, on the roof of your... Uh, of your bed ends, but not for the panels. And they're individually sectioned so that you can replace 
uh, smaller pieces if need be. Something else you're gonna notice is that with the roof, you only, this is made in one piece and all they do is on the corners, they cut the corners and then fold the material. So you don't have any seams other than the corners and then running down each side and the back there. Less seams than other manufacturers that are out there. This is where your spare tire is. And of course, this is where you're going to have your electric lift. So this will have an actual remote control. Uh, you plug in, I say remote control, you're going to plug it in the back here for you to lift the system. Notice the rock guard, make it look very rugged back here. Down the off door side, of course, you're going to see this is where you're going to connect in your, um, your electric. Right here, this is where you're going to have your outside shower. So it's going to have both hot and cold water. And they'll have a connection port for you to put in there so you have something to clean yourself off. The slide out is a manual slide out. You do not need to put braces up underneath that when you pull this thing out. Up forward of the slide out, this is where you're going to connect to your, um, this is where you, your fresh water connection. This is your drain for the sink. Exhaust for the furnace. These two panels, this is for your refrigerator. And this is for your water fill. So this is where you're going to control your refrigerator as well as any maintenance that need be in there. Now I do have a how-to video on how to operate a pop-up refrigerator and I'll have that linked below the video for you as well. So as we're coming up in here, now the nice thing is with this door, even if you had the door, it's a one-piece door, substantial door that goes in place, but let's say you're going to go, uh, go for a hike or whatever, you can close this door even while you have your other door in place giving you additional security if you wanted to. Now right here, this door here, this is for you to empty the uh, toilet waste. Makes it very convenient so you're not pulling it out on the inside like some other manufacturers do. And then this is your drain here for your shower on the inside. Let's go inside. So as you're coming inside, you're gonna notice you have a nice bright light there. So it's a little night light for you. A little 110 outlet, little storage here. Do a little storage for that. Then, of course, directly across from you, that's where you're going to have your um, refrigerator, your furnace, has one 10 outlet, your sink and two burner cooktop. And then over here to the right as you came in, this is where you have your toilet shower. Now, you're probably saying, well, Paul, how the heck are we supposed to use that? Well, what they have is they have a pole that is going to attach into these up top here, and you're able to put a shower curtain around that. That makes it very easy. Now on top of that, kind of hard to see with the door up in here, you have a little snap bracket here, another one up here, and then there's another one back here to give you some privacy so that if you didn't want to put the shower curtain up, you just want to kind of use that as a toilet. You're not going to really maybe just use it to uh, rinse off your feet and so forth, not really use it as a shower. You can do that and have some privacy. So both of these beds you're going to have in here are what we consider king beds. They're going to be 70 inches from front to back. Side to side, they're going to be 76 inches, which is a little bit larger than some of the other pop-ups that are on the market. Now, these are not heated mattresses, but what you have to do is you've got to look at these to kind of see. Now, the nice thing is you do have a 110 outlet. So if you wanted to bring up an electric blanket with you, you could do that. Makes it very, very simple. Now they do come with a um, 12 volt light fan combo which you can plug in right up here by the light and hang it on the poles inside here. Notice the height difference you have here inside in the bed area which is a, a little bit taller than in most other of the pop-ups that are on the market. Now looking back towards the back you're going to notice look at all the floor space you have and the reason why you have so much floor space is because of this slide out big slide out there. Now you have a uh, sofa to the, on the door side, which you can fold out to a bed, and of course the big bed on the outside. Now let me talk to you a little bit about the difference on this dinette booth and how they do things. Now I took the table out of the way, just kind of show you a few things. Now some things, one thing you want to do when you come in this pop-up is you definitely want to sit on on their sofa on the dinette. 
you're going to notice a big difference in the phone quality over the competition. Now the other thing they do, because this is going to be a bed as well, is they're putting wood, a solid piece of wood, back behind their, um, their cushions here. Now the way that they do the, uh, the bottom cushion, they're going to have wood on it as well, but what they do is, so when you have it put in place, Notice how they have these little plastic pieces here. And the reason for that, how many times have you been sitting in a pop-up or something else with a dinette booth that has cushions and they slide on you? These cushions will not slide because of the way they designed. It's a metal for the frame. This is all metal framed out. So now when you're putting this in place, it sets in place there and it locks. It's going to lock forward. So now when I set this cushion, in place behind it. Let me just show you what happens is, and I'll do it on this one here, just so you can see. So with me trying to slide this cushion, notice how it's not going anywhere. Most others, they're going to slide on you. So that makes it much more substantial, much more comfortable. This is, you don't feel like you're squished down and you're hitting the wood down below it. Big, big difference. So when you make this dinette a, um, a bed, it's going to be six feet in length. 42 inches wide, which is a little bit bigger than most others. And it is a step up, and you're gonna have good storage down below. And then look at how big that table is. You actually can put plates and your drinks and so forth. It's not gonna be too narrow. Now the sofa, when you make it to bed, it's 71 inches in length and 37 inches wide. But then look at all that floor space I have, and notice how I have a little step up, which is probably gonna be needed for some of the youngins. Good storage back here, 110 outlet again. Notice how your, um, your windows are clear. Now when they make it clear, it's more expensive to make it clear than it does when it's tinted. You know, to each their own, but uh, Columbia Northwest, they decided to make, make it clear. This is basically how the, the old Fleetwood Coleman pop-ups were made. Now you do have privacy curtains for these things and you can also roll them down if, if you wish to. Now something else I'm gonna show you with this, um, with this galley, it is a swing level galley. The benefit to you there, when you're putting it away, anything down below isn't gonna be tipping upside down and you're not gonna have water drenching your floor. Let me show you how that works. Okay, so with your swing level galley, the nice thing is it also controls the lights. You're going to notice the lights above us go out once you um, pull this up. It has a little switch there. But notice how easy it is to put this thing down and now it's in position. So now you're not, you can set things in the sink, you can keep things down below, and you don't have that problem of having things tip over, water dripping out from the sink that didn't drain properly and so forth. That's very, very simple. And again, to put it up, we're just going to go ahead and lift it and again once it goes in there as you can see the lights do come back on okay so i wanted to give you a vantage point from the other end kind of see what you're looking at and by the way we can put an air conditioner in here and for that light fan combo you also could put it over top of your dinette booth and hang it right there for additional lighting so there you have it ladies and gentlemen the Columbia Northwest Somerset. Now this is the E3 deck. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure to call if you email or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, the Astro Paul, the Air Force guy. Appreciate you watching and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.